Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F-18 Hornet. We're taking on an Iranian Sukhoi 35. Many of you following the news will know apparently what's happened is Iran has sold drones to Russia. Russia has repaid them with uh, Sukhoi 35s that were intended for Egypt. Um, Egypt said they didn't want them. This is my understanding. And Russia has given them to Iran uh, in exchange for those drones. So. Uh, somewhere down the future, we may possibly see Iranian Sukhoi 35s, if that true that story is true. You know, we don't know anything yet. That's all just what's floating around. I don't have any confirmation of that. Um, but we are going to go into a merge here with the Sukhoi 35. I'm going to keep them one circle. As expected, you have that typical flanker one circle turn where it just absolutely crushes everything else. Try to avoid the, the nose here. I am using a little bit of differential thrust. Doesn't make a huge difference in the Hornet. Um, I find it's most useful when you're super slow speed in the Hornet, then it kind of feels like it can do something. Oh, puts those tracers right over my head. Lucky to be alive. problem with that Sukhoi 35 is that it actually has full thrust vectoring, 3D, uh, up, down, side, side, whatever, it's got all of it, so has a huge advantage to the Hornet when it comes to these dogfight situations. Really working hard to stay out of his nose, stay away from his HUD, and you can see the super slow speeds I am putting in differential thrust to try to keep up with them through this turn. It's somewhat helpful, not really, sort of. It's hard to, you know, in some situations you can feel it does nothing and in other situations you're like, yeah, it, it's kind of doing, it's giving me a little bit of a turn. And look at this, ooh, he reverses that turn. That's what that thrust vectoring does. Wow, okay. Cross my nose, buddy. Oh, so close. <laughs> he got a little too fancy with his thrust vectoring there and almost crossed my nose. And uh, we're getting pretty low to the ground here, so I'm just gonna ditch out and try to get some speed because uh, I feel like we're going to a two circle fight here. He's dumping his nose. You can see him reducing altitude, exchanging his gravitational potential energy for kinetic energy and entering the, the rate fight with me. Um, the Hornet, I haven't flown the Hornet in a very long time in a dogfight, but it was the aircraft that I learned to dogfight in. Its sustained rate speeds are about 350 to maybe like 380. Um, that's the rate band. The higher you are, the heavier you are, the the more you're going to be towards the higher end of that rate band. Um, but right now we're at about 350 because we're fairly light and we're fairly low. So um, Stuck in this two circle fight with him. Pretty neutral. Slightly uh, Sukhoi 35 is slightly offensive here. That looks like to me he's slightly winning. I'm also a little too fast. Alright, watch him kind of, look at this, he's pulling hard here, pulling me into his hut. I'm going to pull a little harder as well, and there, he just cannot get the, the lead he needs. But you saw him point his nose at me, he got pure pursuit, but just not enough for the lead. So, that's nice, but although I'm slow now, and because I'm slow, he uh, might be able to pull me into his hut right here. Yeah, look at this. We're going to dodge that first round, and he's on my six, and this is very not good.
So I kind of haven't been posting as much. Some of you have already noticed that in the comment section. Uh, I'm working on something in the background, uh, mostly for those of you who like the history component that we do sometimes on this channel. I think uh, you guys in particular will really like what I'm working on in the background here, but I don't know when I'm going to announce it, when I'll show you guys what it is, uh, but I don't think it's going to be too much longer. So, And I, I think you guys will like it, so um, we'll see about that. All right. Uh, we'll continue here. Once again, I need my revenge for being shot in the face by this Sukhoi 35. Into the merge here. One circle once again. There we go. A little bit of vertical. And so you'll, you'll notice that I'm taking him one circle every time. Uh, the Hornet is a very good one circle fighter. Unfortunately for me, so is the flanker. Um, particularly a flanker that has uh, thrust factoring is always going to be a problem in a one circle fight. Look at that. Whoa. Uh, but the Hornet is kind of a special aircraft in the sense that it may prefer one circle fighting, but it really depends on the bandit what it does. So in the past we did videos where, you know, the Hornet would actually opt for a two circle fight if it was against something like a Mirage it could do a superior two-circle fight to the Mirage. Uh, look at this, look at this. Yes, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the most satisfying thing ever. What he just tries to roll over. He tried to do that thrust vectoring turn reversal thing that he did in the last round too, but he just crossed the nose perfectly. And I just sawed him. Oh, that was great. That was very satisfying. <laughs> Just a nice horizontal cut with the gun across the entire back half of his aircraft. But yeah, people will say, um, hey, why why is the Hornet a one-circle fighter? It's, it's not that the Hornet is a one-circle fighter. What fight you choose is oftentimes dependent on the bandit you're fighting, right? The Hornet may opt to be a one-circle fighter against an F-15, but it may go for the two-circle against, I don't know, a Mirage, for example, you know? Um, so really, the F-15 is another example of an aircraft that can do that. There's very few aircraft that are dependent on only one kind of fight. So like the F-16 is an example of an aircraft that really will never go one-circle. It's just such a superior two-circle fighter to almost everything out there that in every situation it's going to opt for the two circle rate fight. Um, into the merch here, one circle. Once again. And you know, people ask like, oh, what makes a, an aircraft a good one circle fighter? You know, you'll see things. It's really the performance in the min radius turn, uh, that kind of thing. There's very um, oftentimes, oh, cross the nose here. Oh, that was close. Oftentimes you can see aircraft that are one circle fighters have these leading edge extensions on the sides. They, you know, have a little bit more lift. They, they try to have that. That really helps in the slow speed fights. Um, generally speaking, that's, that's what you see. The flanker series are almost all one circle fighters. Um, but they're cool because they also are capable of both. I've uh, overdone the differential thrust and lost control of the aircraft there, but we're back. And I'm defensive. Because of that mistake, the flanker is on my tail. And I have to nose counter him. And I have to get him off of me. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's hard to get him off you when uh, he removes one of your wings. So... Good kill. <laughs> Good kill. You can't make mistakes like that.
these Russian flankers, MiG-29s, they're all shooting 30 millimeter rounds, so very devastating rounds. The 20 millimeter has a good spread on it. You know, it, it hits a lot of everything in DCS, but the uh, 30 mil is like a sniper, but if you can hit it, you know, it'll absolutely shred the other guy to pieces. Which is often, it's, you know, been true throughout history. 30 millimeter is a devastating round. Um, I'd like to win this la this last round. That'd be real nice. Uh, this will be, like I said, this will be the last round. So we'll see what I can do with it. It, it is a challenging fight against the Sukhoi 35. A very challenging fight for the uh, for the Hornet. Oh boy, nice. I'm almost like lead turning the next turn a little bit, just to stay ahead of him. Oh boy, whoa, why didn't he shoot there? Probably didn't have gun selected, but he pointed his nose right at me for like a fraction of a second there. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, I almost had him, alright. I see we're both kind of like jockeying for the uh, the high ground. The guy who ends up above the other guy can use gravity to throw his nose down and probably get a kill. Across the nose, wow, that was close. Just managed to get away from his nose there. You see, it's like the Hornet's also very good at this falling leaf thing. You know, if you were watching this fight from the ground, it would look pretty cool, I would imagine. Look at this, look at this. And, you know, you'll notice the flanker is not just cobraing all over the place. You know what I mean? That it would be a nice way to get yourself killed across the nose. Wow. Nicked his wing there. Was it enough? Oh my god, I think it was enough. I think we got him. A white smoke is generally not a bad thing, but it does seem like that Sukhoi has lost control. Let's shoot him with guns one more time. There's the ejection. And the kill. <laughs> Alright, wow, okay, we got him. Alright, Splash 1 Sukhoi 35. Very good.